Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 33-year-old male with complaints of shoulder pain, but no prior injury, no trauma. And his shoulder joint, this is the humeral head. This is the cup it sits in, the glenoid, the joint here looks great. The superior labrum, inferior labrum, this little dark triangle, this look good. The AC joint, the acromacavicular joint above here looks good. And the main finding in this patient is their rotator cuff is abnormal. We see this big gray thing here. This is a supraspinatus muscle coming horizontally. It turns into a tendon that should be dark, but it's not dark. It's gray. So we know the tendon is irritated or inflamed or tendinopathic or partially torn. So we know there's something wrong because this is too gray. And so if we just had this only, let's put up another view, or this only, we'd say, well, there's a bright signal in the rotator cuff. This is just tendinopathy, there's no full thickness tear, but we also see that there's bright over the top, and then down here too, this is the bursa, so there's inflammation in the bursa, which we call bursitis, often you'll have bursitis along with, te with uh, tendinopathy, but this patient also has one other thing that gives away a diagnosis, which is back here, there's a dark band over the bursal surface, the top of the distal rotator cuff, down here too, a little bit, a little darkness, but this is mineralization, we call this calcific tendinitis. This will show up on x-ray often as like a foggy area of uh, like calcification or sometimes it can be a dense chunk of bone, but this is calcific tendinitis. They have brightness in their rotator cuff. They have a, usually a dark uh, area over the top or sometimes within it. They also have edema or inflammation of the bursa. So we call it calcific tendinobursitis because the tendon and bursa are inflamed. And luckily, this will go away spontaneously. It's really painful. And on x-ray, you may see this foggy calcification over the top. Um, but over time, this calcification or mineralization will resolve, and they'll go back to normal. So luckily, we have uh, an answer that explains their symptoms. And they will not need surgery, and uh, again, it'll spontaneously revolve, resolve. And again, here's the darkness. I'll put up the other view we had originally to look for the area of darkness. This is a T1 way image, and we also see that darkness here. And this is what we call tendinopathy. And if we see this darkness, we call this calcific tendinitis. Thank you very much.